Hey there everyone, Ramesh here back again with another video. In this video, we will see the best practices for writing effective prompts in a chat GPT. Whether you are using chat GPT for learning, content creation or solving technical problems, knowing how to craft clear and specific prompts is a crucial. Well, why best practices matter in a prompting? When using chat GPT, the quality of the output depends heavily on how you frame your prompt. By following the best practices, you can guide the chat GPT to give you the exact type of response you are looking for. So let us discuss the top 10 tips or best practices with examples. First tip is be clear and concise. So make sure your prompt is easy to understand. Use simple language and avoid unnecessary words. For example, instead of saying could you kindly provide me with an explanation of how machine learning works in the simplest term possible? You can just say, explain machine learning in simple terms like this. So just avoid unnecessary words. So just use the simple language so that chat GPT can, you know, focus on what you need and just hit enter and look at the chat gpt response over here so chat gpt provides the accurate you know response for your prompt tip number two provide context adding context improves the relevance of the response if you are asking a question about a specific domain mention it in your prompt for example instead of saying explain recursion Okay, so instead of saying just explain recursion, say explain recursion in the context of computer science. So if you don't mention the context, then chat GPT assume that you are looking for a general definition of recursion. If you mention the context like computer science, then chat GPT generate the content in the context of computer science. Okay just submit to the chat gpt and look at here the response so chat gpt is using context to create the content that you are looking for okay so whenever you are asking a question about a specific domain just mention it in your prompt so that chat gpt generates the relevant response for you tip number three specify the format if you want the response in a particular format mention it explicitly for example if you need a list say list the steps for installing python and just hit enter and look at here chat gpt provides a step-by-step -step guide for installing python okay so whenever you ask question to the chat gpt and if you want the response in a particular format then just mention the format in the prompt for example here i have mentioned the list as a format but you can also specify the format like paragraph table okay tip number four use examples in the prompt well providing examples can help chat gpt understand what you want for example if you want chat gpt to generate the product description similar to this product that is Lino product and if you want the product description for your item similar to this product description you can just copy this product description and provide as example in the prompt okay so just say write a product description similar to this and then paste the example over here so chat gpt generates the product description similar to the example that you have provided in the prompt okay perfect you can mention the product name in the prompt for instance just edit this message and here let us say write a dell product description similar to this and just click on send so chat gpt generate the you know product description for this dell product similar to this so this is how you can use chat gpt to produce the content using examples tip number five ask follow-up questions 
Well, don't hesitate to ask follow-up questions if the initial response isn't detailed enough. Follow-ups help refine the answer and get the additional clarity. For example, here let us add, write the prompt something like write a Python program to calculate the factorial of number and then hit enter. Now the chat GPT produce the response that contains the Python program. Okay, and let us say you are not happy with this content. What you can do is you can ask the follow up questions. For instance, you want to add a comments in this Python program. Then you can add the follow up questions like update the above Python program with comments and hit enter and you can see the chat GPT response. Here is the updated Python program with the detailed comments to make it easier to understand and look at the comments over here. So this is how you can add the follow up questions if you are not happy with the initial response. Tip number six, use role based prompting. Well, you can also mention the role for the chat GPT so that chat GPT can take that role and produce the content accordingly. So you can ask chat GPT to take on a specific role for a more targeted response. For instance, you are a software engineer, explain the concept of microservices. So here just enter the prompt. You are a software engineer. And next explain the concept of microservices. So this helps ChatGPT tolerate its answer according to the role you specified. Okay. So this is how the ChatGPT basically works. You can assign role to the ChatGPT so that ChatGPT create the content accordingly as per the assigned specific role. Tip number seven, break down complex tasks. If your task is complex, break it down into smaller manageable parts. For example, instead of asking create a content for Python programming, what you can do is you can ask chat GPT to outline the content for Python programming first and then accordingly you can generate the content for a specific topic. For example, instead of saying like this, you can say outline the content for Python programming. So here chat GPT basically outlined the content. Next you can ask chat GPT to produce the content for these small topics. So this is how you can break down the complex topic or a complex task into smaller manageable you know, parts. Tip number eight, be specific about output length. So specify the length of the response if needed in the prompt. For example, let us say you want chat GPT to generate the content that is a blog post or article with 1000 words. Then you can specify that 1000 you know, length in the prompt. For example, here, let us ask chat GPT to generate or create a blog post with 1000 words on Python object oriented programming and just hit enter. Look at here the chat GPT response. Chat GPT has created a blog post. It contains 1000 words. So this is how you can specify the output length in the prompt. Okay, just close it. Tip number nine, experiment and iterate. Sometimes the first prompt may not provide the perfect response. Well, basically chat GPT generates a unique response each time. If you are not happy with the initial response, you can just modify the prompt and ask chat GPT again. So just experiment it so that you can get the best results. All right. So these are the nine tips that will help you to get the accurate and proper response while using the chat GPT.